Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello guys, welcome to Ikeda. Today we will see problem number 4 on Evenings and Norton's theorems with dependent sources. So here is again another problem with a dependent voltage source of 10 Vx and Vx is the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor. There is a current source of 10 amperes and we have to find the current in 10 ohm resistor. So what is the current across this 10 ohm resistor? So we will go step by step. As usual, step number 1 will be calculation of Vth. So because we want current in 10 ohm resistor, what we will do, we will first open this branch. So this 10 ohm resistance will open it at step number 1. I am going to redraw the circuit now. So here is the circuit. This resistance has been opened, it has been removed. And now we have to find VTH, that means this particular voltage across these two terminals. Let us give them name as A and B. Now obviously we will apply KVL here and when we will apply KVL we will get 100. Then plus to minus will be minus VTH and then again plus 10 Vx. So this Vx will be unknown to us. But there is a mechanism to calculate this Vx. You can see that this 10 ampere current source which is entering here, it will not go beyond this point B because it is open circuit. So the complete current will go here. So voltage is nothing but resistance into current. So we can write Vx is equal to 5 multiplied by 10. So we have got Vx equal to 50 volts. And now if we apply KVL here, like this, then what we can write is 100 because we are going from negative to positive. Then positive to negative will be negative. Then again negative to positive will be positive. And then for this resistance we are going and the current direction also is same. So it is going to be minus of voltage is resistance times current. But that voltage is nothing but Vx and this Vx you have got. So we will write directly as Vx plus to minus. So it is negative. And we will solve it now. So step number 1 is done. By calculation we got Vth equal to 550 volt. Now step number 2 is we will short this branch A and B and we will calculate short circuited current. So to calculate this ISC what we will do first we will apply mesh here or we will apply KVL here and then we also can apply KCL at this node to calculate ISC because ISC is the current which is incoming current for this node. Let us give a name to this node as C. This is incoming current and this ISC also is incoming current. So this we can take as outgoing current. So first we will apply KVL. So by KVL what we can write is 100 then value of this voltage source which is 10 into Vx, negative to positive is positive and then also we have Vx, so 100, then negative to positive is positive, so plus and then positive to negative is negative, so Vx we got as minus 100 by 9, minus means polarity should be reversed. Now if we apply KCL here, by KVL we got value of Vx. If we apply KCL here, we get here ISC plus 10 equal to current across this branch which is Vx and the value of this resistance which is 
5 ohms. So we'll apply KCL at node C. This is what we get. Outgoing current has voltage upon resistance that is Vx divided by 5. Now the value of Vx we have got. That is minus 100 by 9. So let's calculate it. So this is what ISC we got. Now let us go back to our question. Now the question is find the current in n ohm resistance. So for that, we have to draw this circuit as Thevenin's equivalent circuit with VTH and RTH. So RTH you have not got yet. So let us get so let us get RTH. This is the formula of RTH. Let us substitute the values of VTH as well as ISC. So RTH you got as minus 45 ohms. Sometimes resistance can be negative. That means if voltage is increasing, current is decreasing. And now the last step is drawing the equivalent circuit. So equivalent circuit is Thevenin circuit. This VTH. in series with RTH and this particular resistance across which current is to be found. Let's substitute the values. So the current through 10 ohm resistor will be voltage divided by total resistance. So current that we got is minus 15.71. So that is the required answer. So that's the end of problem. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.